South Park is a legendary TV show, and while they always haven't had the best video games, Matt Stone and Trey Parker stuck gold when it came to South Park the Stick of Truth, and once again with South Park the Fractured But Whole. While we don't have a lot of information regarding the brand new announced South Park Snow Day, it's safe to assume that after the last two games, the fanbase has some really big expectations for it. But are those expectations about to be left soaking wet like my pants and my older cousin would put snow down them? I really hope not. I'm a really big fan of the South Park games, so if Snow Day ends up being really good, by all means, please come back to this video and comment that I was wrong, and I hope I am, honestly. First and foremost, it seems like this game is taking a completely different direction than the last two. The last two games were more of a 2.5D, a 2D games that really made you feel like you were in the South Park universe as, as if you were in the show itself. And it had a lot more of an RPG element to it, and they were developed by Ubisoft. But this time around, according to GameSpot, the new game will be a 3D multiplayer game with real-life combat instead of turn-based combat. It will also be developed by Question Games, which is kind of interesting because I don't know too much about them as developers. People have been speculating about this game, and it'll be some sort of battle royal, what people are saying. But at the same time, I'm also hearing saying uh, people saying that it won't be a battle royal game. It's kind of a weird feeling when the game is clearly taking a different direction than what we're used to and than what has worked in the past, but we really don't know what that direction is. The game can already be pre-ordered on GameStop's website, and it's only like 30 bucks, at least in the United States. The last two games were full price on release, so now I'm wondering exactly how much content this game will actually have. I don't know why, but the way the combat and everything is shown in the trailer, it gives me Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare mixed with the old school Nintendo 64 South Park game vibes. Man, I loved Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, but I don't know if I'd like a modern South Park game necessarily made like that. But who knows? Who knows? Who knows, right? It could literally be anything at this point, and we have no clue what it's actually going to look like. What we do know for sure, uh, based on the trailer, is that the kids get out of school for a snow day. There will be co-op multiplayer, and there the new kid is somehow mentioned at the end of the trailer. I wonder if this means that this is going to be a continuation of the past two game stories, or if they just threw in the new kid as an excuse for you, you know, to create your own character and use that. Personally, though, I'd love to see some RPG elements come back from the last two games, like equipping certain, out uh, certain outfits and weapons, and maybe even like a level up system. So that we know that, you know, we're going to using we're gonna be using our own character, right? So I'm curious if there'll also be, like, different fighting classes like there were in the last game to, you know, differentiate people's fighting styles. We also see Cartman wearing his Wizarding King outfit, so I'm wondering if the Stick of Truth will come into play into our story. That would be super dope. Uh, but we also don't get to really see any adults in the trailer, which is interesting. One of the funniest parts, in my opinion, of the last games was interacting with a lot of the adults... And all the characters and episode references around town. I hope that does make a comeback. Um, there's just so many questions I have about this game. And I'm sure you guys do too. And it's just nowhere near enough answers yet. As a South Park fan, I really hope this game is good. I do trust the team after the last couple of games. But there are some things that do concern me as we discuss. I guess we won't know whether or not to be worried until later on when we get a little bit more information. And while the game can be pre-ordered already, I think I will probably wait until I have a bit more information. But one thing is for sure, South Park Snow Day may not be what you expect. So, what do you think about South Park Snow Day? Let me know in the comments below. I, do, I try my best to read all the comments and respond, so if you made it this far, thank you for listening to An Idiot Rant. Please consider subscribing to support the channel. Also, consider these videos if you like my work, and thank you for your time. Plot Armor Games, out.